Hi, and welcome to this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make mains electricity come out of my Mitsubishi Fev. Um, useful whilst camping without an electric hookup. So I bought this um, inverter off eBay, about £37. Comes with all the wires, uh, those crocodile clip wires are heavier duty and then the cigarette lighter is lighter duty for plugging it in um, into the cigarette lighter. But then you can't draw as enough power because the wires are a lot thinner. So first thing I need to do is um, unscrew the two screws in the boot and then there are three other screws, all of which are Phillips at the top. So once those are all undone, the tray slides out and then that gives you access to the battery. Now the next important step is to unplug your fare, otherwise you'll get a tickle while touching the battery. So the wires come with um, crocodile clip clips. Uh, they don't really fit nice and easy underneath the, uh, the boot tray and uh, there's always the risk that they'll wobble and come undone or um, move and uh, create a short or even a spark which is totally not what you want. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting off the ends, uh, removing the crocodile clips, I'll save them for another useful thing I don't know later on in the shed just put them in there and then I'm going to be putting um, eyelets on the end of the wires and using shrink wrap on them this will ensure a good connection and uh, no uh, short circuiting issues So here I'm preparing the wires, um, I'm joining the um, uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter to the inverter wires. Uh, this is to, so I can have a um, cigarette lighter socket in the boot as well, which makes um, inflating your tyres using the tyre inflator a lot easier. Instead of having to go in and out of the car and unplug the cigarette lighter in the front, I just wanted the cigarette lighter adapter in the back. So here I'm just heating up my shrink wrap to uh, shrink around the eyelet that I've uh, crimped onto the uh, two negative wires. Now for the positive wires, I'm using a black shrink wrap on these because my red shrink wrap was too small. I'm going to twist the ends, add the eyelet, crimp, heat and shrink. Now to connect them to the battery. So here we go, I'm uh, loosening the, um, the nut, connecting auxiliary to the um, positive, and then I'll attach the eyelets to those with a nice tight connection with no s short circuiting or sparking, which were those crocodile clips certainly would have done. But please remember, when you're doing this, make sure the, um, the, the the charger isn't plugged in, so the car isn't charging. Otherwise, it, well, you will get electrocuted. So when connecting the um, negative terminal, um, if you undo the uh, the bolt and put the eyelet in between the two um, grips, uh, 
it won't tighten up properly because it works on friction. So you need to put the eyelet on the other side, so not in between the two joints, because otherwise your um, uh, negative terminal won't be clamped onto the battery tight enough. So where the bolt is, is that's the side where to put your eyelet. So keep a lookout for that when I'm doing that. Here, if you insert the eyelet here, you will not be able to tighten up the clamp onto the negative terminal of the battery. This is not how to do it. As you can see, the eyelet is on the outside of the clamp. So now it can be tightened up and a firm grip can be made on a negative terminal. Okay, so now the um, connections have been made. It's time to put the tray back in and feed the wires through. Now, I didn't want to uh, drill a hole. I wanted to keep it quite original. So there's a little hole here that the uh, wires will fit through. It's not ideal, but maybe I might drill a hole at a later time. But I didn't feel that like I wanted to drill a hole in my uh, boot tray. Okay, now to test the important hairdryer. Okay, a slight overload there on power. Maybe if we try on our lower setting. Okay, this inverter is not powerful enough to uh, do a kettle or a, a full powered hairdryer, but it will do an ice maker and a half powered hairdryer, so it's pretty good for the time being. I might get a bigger one, I'll do a video on that. Now to put everything back together. Remember, the two screws in the bottom and the three screws at the top, all Phillips. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I've got a few other Mitsubishi videos at the moment. Uh, just uh, look on my playlists. Uh, there we go, yeah. So all tidied away, shuts nicely. Nice and neat. I might screw it down later. That rocker switch is a little bit sensitive on the right hand side. So if you've got anything rolling around in the boot when you're driving around, it may turn on the inverter. Probably best to not have anything rolling around in there. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.